I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple's added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.5 inch version looks like a small tablet. Both the new phones have 8 megapixel cameras with new sensors inside, and they have a new and faster A8 processor. But the biggest game changer in here might be the NFC chip, which is trying to kill my humongous wallet. Called Apple Pay, you'll be able to register your credit card or bank account with Apple, and you'll be able to pay in stores by just tapping the phone and holding down the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. Apple's worked with lots of stores, including Starbucks, Subway, and some others. Of course, there are plenty of security and privacy questions, though Apple says... When you add a new credit card, we don't store the credit card number and we don't give it to the merchant. The 6 starts at $199 and the 6 Plus starts at $299. Both will be available for order this coming Friday and on sale in stores the following Friday. Stay tuned for our full review.